Mr. President, I rise today to wish Hunter Fountain a happy birthday. Hunter couldn't be with us. I introduced his parents earlier. Hunter's in school today, but the week before last, Hunter, a third grader in my district, wanted to celebrate his ninth birthday with his classmates. His mother made cupcakes for the class, decorated them with little green army men. One of Hunter's favorite toys and patterned after World War II American soldiers. Hunter has great respect for soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and their sacrifice. It's a sacrifice his family knows firsthand. His father joined the U.S. Navy right out of high school. His great-grandfather was a Navy CB who helped rebuild Pearl Harbor after it was attacked. But shortly after dropping Hunter off to school, his mom was informed that the cupcakes could not be served because the soldiers had guns. Yep, you heard that right. The soldiers had guns. The little toy two-inch soldiers had guns. Little plastic army men weren't welcome on his birthday treat. The school principal later declared that including the toy soldiers was, quote, insensitive, unquote, in light of recent events. Throughout our American history, our soldiers have stood as a symbol of freedom and opportunity to people around the world. How much better can it get than a third grader who admires those soldiers so much that he uses symbols of them as part of his own birthday celebration? Kids like Hunter who take pride in America's men and women in uniform give me great confidence in our younger generations. But God help us if we continue to discourage such kids by embracing radical censorship and knee-jerk political correctness. Instead of making kids safer or addressing violence in our society, this political correctness has instead resulted in a threatened suspension of an Illinois teen for wearing an official Marine Corps t-shirt to school. An actual suspension of a six-year-old for the crime of making a gun shape with his finger. And a five-year-old girl being labeled a terrorist threat and suspended from school for the crime of talking about using her pink bubble blowing toy. One consequence of this craziness is that good kids like Hunter are left confused and scratching their heads, and frankly, so am I. Such political correctness is distasteful and destructive no matter where it occurs, whether in or out of schools. It flies in the face of common sense and reason, and it must end. I'm very proud of Hunter Fountain, wish more kids exhibited his respect and patriotism. I applaud his parents for instilling in their children a healthy respect for firearms and an admiration for those men and women in uniform, past and present. I'd like to let Hunter know that we are all grateful to his family for their service to our nation and that he should continue to be proud. Happy birthday, Hunter. Your little green plastic army men are welcome in my office anytime.